Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia and today I'm going to do a quick run through on things that you can find at the Dollar Tree for disaster preparedness. This could be for, you know, what's currently going on with the pandemic or it could be storm disaster preparedness and just a little bit of stuff that is good to just have on hand in your first aid kit. A lot of these things I did not know that they had at Dollar Tree. Um, but they're definitely good, affordable options if you're on a budget just to have those emergency stores on hand. So first I'm going to start with um, some of the kind of over-the-counter medical type items that they have. And I will preface this with saying I don't know anything about medicine. I'm not affiliated with any kind of medical field at all. So the items I picked up, they're all over-the-counter items. They work for our family. Uh, a lot of these brands I actually have not tried, so just keep that in mind. And of course, keep in mind allergies your family has and things like that. I know, for instance, some people have a very severe allergy to Benadryl um, and other generic brands of Benadryl. So obviously just keep your family and your needs in mind, but these are some good generic affordable options for over-the-counter medicines that are good to have on hand, especially in like a go bag or a quick disaster kit that you just wanna, you know, keep in a closet for emergencies. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. First, we'll go with kind of the first aid stuff that is just nice to have on hand. Uh, I grabbed this elastic support bandage. We always used to call them an ACE bandage. Um, but it's great for sprains and that kind of thing. And they had a couple different colors. They had this neon orange and then a very bright pink. So I went with the orange. But these are good to have on hand because um, you never know when something dumb is going to happen and you're going to want them at home and not have to run out to the store and try to find one of these. So I thought that was a good buy. And then along that same line, I got a few things that were you know, for management of pain and sprains and things like that. They also had this um, hot or cold pain relief pack. And I believe you can put it in the freezer or you can um, microwave it. So I thought that was a good buy for a dollar. Just good, like I said, to have on hand in your first aid kit. Um, just, you know, especially I think for headaches, it's great to have something cold like that. So I got that, and then I've heard really good things about these pain relief back patches. Um, there are two different brands that the Dollar Tree carries of these, and this particular brand is supposedly a lot better than the other one. So if you go, like I said, I have not tried these items yet, but I hear that this one is better. So I would recommend grabbing that. And then again, along that same line, I grabbed these hot and cold packs. And they are reusable. It can be um, for injuries, but also it says it can be used in coolers and that kind of thing. So if you're in a situation where you're expecting the power may go out, it would be good to throw one of these or a couple of these in the freezer. And then you will be able to transfer it to a cooler or whatever you're using to help keep your perishables cold longer. I grabbed a couple of those. And then also I picked up this Epsom salt. Um, only a dollar. They had quite a few different kinds. I just got the plain. Uh, it's good for, it says here, um, soaking aid for minor sprains and bruises. Uh, it's good for sore muscles and also in gardening. Um, it can be good for your garden. So that is always nice. And then I also grabbed a box of rolled gauze. It says, let's see, absorbs and protects. It's three inches wide. And I don't know if it's sterile or not. It does say one sterile bandage. So, so got that. And then also this pain relief balm. I'm thinking it's probably like Tiger Balm is my guess. Um, but basically it's for aches and pains and that kind of thing. And a lot of these will say, you know, compare to this product, but this one does not. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a good buy. And then I also grabbed these nasal relief sprays. 
Um, we have actually, we haven't used this particular brand, but these are very expensive at the drugstore. Um, but the active ingredient is the same in what we have used in the past, and they work great. The only thing is, is um, you don't want to use them for more than like two to three days, I think, because it can become kind of addictive. Um, but it's the same active ingredient, so I'm hoping that it'll work just as well, so we'll find out. But I thought that was a really good buy, especially for a dollar, and especially if it works. And this one does have the compare to, it says compare to Afrin Severe Congestion Nasal Spray. Um, and the red one is compare to Afrin Original. So this one is like an extra strength kind of version. And then I also grabbed um, this chest rub, it's like a Vicks Vape Rub. I compared the active and inactive ingredients because I'm always concerned with Dollar Tree items, just, you know, about the quality. Obviously, if it's going to be something you're putting on your body or in your body. And I checked the active and inactive ingredients, and it is the same as Vicks. And I know people have a lot of kind of mixed feelings about Vicks. Um, but anyway, they do have that if you're looking for that. And for a dollar, same ingredients is a good buy. I also picked up um, this allergy medicine, and it says compare to Benadryl. So a dollar for 36 tablets, and this is definitely, these are all the kind of things that you can stick again in that spare first aid kit and just pull out if you need it. Like for instance, over the last you know several months, we haven't had as many things in the store, haven't been able to get to the store as easily as we have in the past. Um, and then I also grabbed this Assured X Expectorant Mucus Relief. Um, it says thins and lo loosens mucus, relieves chest congestion, 15 caplets, and it does not have a compare to, but I'm guessing maybe it's similar to Mucinex, I'm not sure. But like I said, check the active ingredients against what you normally use and kind of do a little bit of research and decide if that is right for your family. I also grabbed the saline nasal spray. It's always good to have around. And then an anti-diarrheal. It says compare to active ingredient of Imodium AD. So this obviously could be valuable to have around um, if you are in a situation where you can't get to the store and someone is very ill. So I thought that was good. Um, last two kind of things like that. I thought these were great, actually. Um, they had these packs of witch hazel wipes, which I thought was awesome. Uh, witch hazel is kind of expensive. We use witch hazel sometimes for skin irritation and that kind of thing. So I thought this was a great buy for a dollar um, to have on hand, like I said, good for minor skin irritation. Uh, it can be really soothing, but I thought that was great. I know some people use it for acne and that kind of thing. And then I grabbed some hydrogen peroxide. They had plenty of this at the Dollar Tree, and I will say not necessarily an amazing buy because at Walmart's in our area, we can get this size peroxide for 88 cents. Um, and obviously this was a dollar because it was at Dollar Tree, but our Walmarts and Targets have been out for a while of peroxide um, and alcohol especially. They did not have alcohol at my Dollar Tree, which um, they usually do, but they did have peroxide, so I picked that up. And that is one of the nice things about Dollar Tree is, like with the peroxide, it's not necessarily the cheapest price that you could find it anywhere, but they have it because a lot of times people don't look at Dollar Tree for stuff like that. So sometimes that can be a really big bonus. I also grabbed some helpful over-the-counter creams. This is a triple antibiotic similar to Neosporin. So, um, the, it's got the same active ingredients as Neosporin, which, you know, is obviously a lot more expensive than a dollar. So we grabbed that. And then also, um, this anti-itch cream it says it's good for poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, and insect bites. And it says to compare it to the active ingredients in Benadryl Extra Strength. So again, just a really good item to have on hand because you never know when you're gonna run into something like that or have a bad insect bite. Um, so I thought that was really good. And then I also picked up this hydrocortisone cream and it says compare to the active ingredients of Cortade. 
Um, but let's see. It says maximum strength, fast itch, and rash relief. So again, good item just to have on hand in that spare first aid kit. Um, so moving on, I grabbed these. They're actually out of the craft section, but obviously these are craft sticks. They could be tongue depressors or in a pinch, a finger splint if you really needed it. Um, so I thought that was a good item. And then uh, calamine lotion. It's always good to have, again, if you, you know, run into poison ivy or poison oak, this is a great thing to have. All right, so something that could potentially come in handy again in the near future, hopefully it won't, but I thought this was pretty great actually. It's an oral care kit. You have a, a probe, a mirror, a tongue scratcher guy, and obviously a toothbrush, uh, but in our area, I don't know if this was true across the country, but dental offices were closed for a couple months. So if you had a dental emergency, um, that obviously would be very challenging. Uh, but having something like this, again, in an absolute emergency, you could at least kind of see what was going on um, and then be able to take good steps from there. But I thought that was a very interesting kit for a dollar. So I grabbed that. And then another kit I got, which we always had these on hand, my son wears glasses and kids with glasses it is always good to have a glasses kit but they pretty much always have these at Dollar Tree and we have used them for years and they work perfectly fine you have two little screwdrivers in there one's a flathead um, and the other is Phillips head and then you have like the little nose guys and some spare screws in there so we like having those around and then also grabbed a sewing kit um, it's got, you know, needles, safety pins, all the usual stuff in there, and thread. Um, and kind of same goes if you're not really able to get out to the stores, you might have to do some mending or something like that. So, again, uh, kind of with what's currently going on, masks have been pretty hard to find. It's gotten a little easier lately, but Dollar Tree has had um, masks. You are limited to two packs, two come in a pack, so they work out to be 50 cents a piece, um, which for a while there was actually a pretty good price, even when you were buying packs of 50, um, or 25, I guess, is actually what they had at Walmart. I want to say it would be $30 for a pack of 25. I don't know. It was pretty expensive um, for a while there, but Dollar Tree still has these. Again, limit of two. Uh, packs, but you get four. So these are good just to have on hand just in case or you know to keep in the car in case you accidentally forget your usual mask at home. Um, and for us that's particularly great because we live in an area where masks have been mandated. So if you want to go in a store or something like that, they require that you wear a mask. So that's good to have. And then also Dollar Tree has still had disinfectant wipes which have been extremely, extremely hard to come by. And they do not always have these in stock, but I always check anytime I go. And every now and again, you know, they'll be fully stocked. And a lot of places like Target and Walmart have been limiting you to one or sometimes two wipe containers. Uh, but at Dollar Tree, the limit is four, at least at my Dollar Tree. Um, so you can go in and get four of these. There are 30 wipes per container. So that is a good buy. And of course, it's a dollar for a pack of wipes, um, and this same size would be, you know, $2.49 ish at Target. So that's a good buy, and you can buy four of them at once. So next time you go to Dollar Tree, keep an eye out for those guys. And um, I'm gonna also include some photos that I took at Dollar Tree because they had a lot of items that would be good for a disaster preparedness kit, but things I did not buy because we already have them, and they're things that last, like tarps, flashlights, um, knives, multi-tools, rope, bungee cords, stuff like that. So I'll throw up the photos I took so you guys can kind of see what other items they have, but again, I didn't purchase them because we already have those kind of items.
I did grab this one flashlight guy because I thought it was pretty cool. Um, basically, it's got a little hook here so you can hook it onto, you know, your bag, your belt buckle, um, inside of a tent, or, you know, you can hang it on whatever you need to hang it on, which I thought was great. Um, so, and it's not too big. And it also has a little stand. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you can also like prop it up and use it that way. So I thought that was pretty convenient because you don't always have somebody around to hold a flashlight for you if you're working on something. So I thought that was great. Grabbed that. And then along those same lines of lighting, Dollar Tree also always has these candles and they're pretty big, especially for a dollar. They're self-contained, they come in a glass container. Um, and they last a really long time. So these are great, especially for us on the coast as far as hurricanes and, you know, thinking about the potential. And usually it does happen that we lose power, usually for a few hours, sometimes for a few days or even a week or more, depending on how severe the storm is. So these are great to have on hand. Again, they're self-contained. They last a long time. And they're unscented, I think. I don't smell anything, so... Yeah, I think they're unscented, so that's kind of nice too. So these, if you are in a power outage prone area for hurricanes or snowstorms or ice storms, <laughs> um, these are a really good buy, so I would recommend these. And then I snagged one food item. I don't really feel like Dollar Tree is the best place to stock up on food um, for those shelf stable items like beans and things like that, because a lot of times you can find them cheaper at Walmart or especially if you're able to buy in bulk at Costco or Sam's um, but I did buy these lentils they were a dollar and lentils are really good as far as being shelf stable they have a lot of nutrients and that kind of thing Dollar Tree doesn't always have lentils but often they do so I grabbed these um, and it's a pretty good buy a lot of times at Target or Walmart, they'll be $1.25 or so. So not a huge savings, but they had them and it's a good thing to have in your pantry. So that is what I have for you today. Just a few items that you can, you know, stock up on cheaply and then you're a little bit more prepared. If for some reason for a while you're not able to get to a store or if there's an injury and you don't want to go out to the store it's just kind of nice to have it on hand and it's definitely a very budget friendly way to get all the things that you need for under 20 bucks so I would recommend checking out Dollar Tree to see what you can get and again you know do your research especially on the over-the-counter medicines and things and make sure the ingredients are comparable and it's something that will work for you and your family if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any tips for disaster preparedness, please leave them down in the comments. We can all benefit from sharing with one another. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Really quickly, I wanted to add something else that I picked up at the Dollar Tree that I was probably most impressed with, and it was this ankle support. Um, and there are actually two in here, which I thought was great. So anyway, I thought this was a really good buy at the Dollar Tree. Sorry, my dog busted in here. Um, but yes, so grab these and then a very random item that I picked up that I think applies <laughs> is the steering wheel cover. I know this is so weird, but all of us have been using a lot more hand sanitizer lately and I have noticed that the leather in my vehicle has started to get kind of bleached and it's from the hand sanitizer. And sometimes when I'm driving, I come in from somewhere like a store and sanitize my hands and then I start driving before they're fully dry. So my steering wheel has kind of been suffering from that. So anyway, I grabbed a steering wheel cover um, to obviously put on my steering wheel and protect it. Okay, that's really all. Bye guys, have a good day. <laughs>